of love. What's going on, everybody? Have you ever wondered what's coming out for season four of Rocket League Sideswipe? Do you think the hype is dying down a little bit? Well, there's a little bit of hope. Um, I'm joined today by Ko, who is one of my mods on Twitch, um, and he was the one that got me the entire file for Rocket League Sideswipe, and we have a lot of new information. So, uh, what's up, Ko? Hey, what's up? All right, so before we get started, I'm sure a lot of people want to know, how do you get access to this? Are you some crazy hacker man? All right, so basically, I'm just going through the game files and just trying to look for what ends in .pak. It's a pack file. Basically, what a pack file is, is it? it's a zip file, but it's more specialized and typically encrypted. Uh, luckily for me, this one is not encrypted, so it's pretty easy to just kind of go through if I have the patience. Okay, cool. Um, so on their screen right now, let's uh, kind of showcase what's going on here. So we have three different types of balls, um, one being the cube, which you see on your screen right now. Um, and if you are familiar with normal Rocket League, they have a similar situation with mutators um, with the cube right there. Um, next, we're going to see the hockey puck, um, which relates to snow day in normal Rocket League. If you're not familiar, um, pretty self-explanatory hockey game mode. Um, and then we have a breakout ball. Um, which, in my opinion, this is kind of uh, speculation, but it looks to be like it's for drop shot. Um, the hexagons on the pattern uh, kind of remind me of the floor that um, drop shot has. And honestly, um, I can't say that they're all going to drop for season four, but they're definitely in the files, so they're coming at some point. So I don't know if it'll bring people back, but um, there's definitely new content coming, which is exciting. Okay, so next up, we're going to talk about two new emotes that we're getting. Um, again, all of this is in the files, but we're not sure when the release date is because that's totally up to them. Um, but we have a savage emote. We have a secondary nice shot emote, sort of like the uh, two different oofs we have, the regular one and then the one that they added to the shop. So this is probably going to be similar to that. Um, if you did not see it, these are the season rewards. Um, GC looks pretty good. Uh, I don't think I'm impressed with these. I think it's pretty easy for them to just make this as a season reward. I'd be really, really hoping next season we get a goal explosion or maybe even a wheel. Um, but you never know. Um, on your screen right now, you can see that it lists avatars, balls, banners, bodies, boosts, decals, goal explosions, hats, playlists, quick check, and wheels. So we have access to every item that is in the files right now. Um, so we're going to scroll through it really quick. Um, on the right, you're going to see all the PNGs for each of the avatars. Um, if we click on them, we can make them bigger. Nothing too special, um, but as you can see, all of the existing ones are in there, even the dev um, uh, avatars as well. Uh, next up, we have the balls, which again, we have the breakout, which is the um, drop shot. We have the classic ball, obviously. Um, and then we have hoops and then the volleyball, um, which these are already implemented. All right, so now we are looking at banners. Um, we're just going to fly through them. Nothing too interesting here um there are some like uh unreleased ones but nothing too ridiculous um so we're gonna go on to bodies this is where it gets interesting we have the aftershock so i just wanted to kind of just show what mm -hmm. your cars look like in the games because keep in mind that they don't actually like in the files they can't represent an actual phoenix the way a phoenix is gonna look right and so this is what your car actually is that's interesting just yeah, just combining all of these and then modeling it. So hypothetically, how would you be able to put a custom skin in the game if you were to mod that? Hypothetically, hypothetically if I were able to alter the pack file, I could be able to rearrange it so that, for example, uh, an Octave might look like a Fennec. Uh -huh. And I would be able to rock it in game, the only problems. I need to figure that out yet. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. 
That would be so sick if we could invent Baka's mod for a sideswipe. <laughs> Telling Baka like a third party type of thing. Like KO was saying there, um, on the right side is actually how the car is represented in the files. It can't physically show a 3D object, so it actually paints it as a 2D image. Um, and what he just pointed out is if there's the RGB file or name next to uh, the car body, it means that it can come painted. But let's uh, fly through these real quick. So the biggest one is the Fennec. Um, obviously, it's in the files. I'm praying that it comes next season. Uh, we have the Venom Werewolf Twinser. Um, and honestly, I don't think there's any like crazy cars left for them to add besides the Fennec. So I'm just praying that we do, in fact, get that. Um, uh, so next up, we are looking at all the different boosts. Um, on your screen, you can see a lot of existing ones already. Um, and honestly, we don't need to go through all these assets. If you want to just scroll down. Uh, Hypernova, Ion, Crackle, Magic Missile, Power Shot, Rainbow, Slime, Standard Sunray, Super Manga Bolt, Taco, Tachyon, the Trans Pride Flag. Um, we have a Watermelon Boost, which I'm excited for. Um, we actually saw that on their Twitter, which is pretty cool. Um, I've seen most of these items already. If you haven't seen my very first video where I tediously went into private matches and just uh, looked at different bots, see what they were rocking. Um, and everything that I'm seeing here pretty much goes with what I saw back then. Um, so nothing too crazy. Uh, do me a favor and click on the thumbnails at the bottom there. Okay, so here's all the decals. Okay, so there's a Vice, Shockwave, Griffin. Um, anything super cool? I love the Warlock. That one's cool. Oh, what was that one? Cupcake. What was that for? Gato. I feel like that's a Venom skin. So we saw the Streak Wave, Kana. Wait, so we have a Twinser yeah, decal? There's nothing, there's nothing cool with the Universals. Yeah. Um, what I found. It's everything that's in the game for universals is already is in the files. Like there's nothing more. Right. Okay. Cool. Uh, I think we're good with cars then. Uh, let's go on to goal explosions. Um, here you'll see a lot of uh, explosions that actually haven't been really seen too much. Uh, I did tease the um, idea of a uh, painted reaper or reapers in general. Um, but as you can see, we can see all the thumbnails here, which, uh, I believe, is that the default one? Is that just standard? So, this is, I think, what is this one? I forget what it's called. Wait. But this one has tears. This is the only, uh, oh. gold explosion that I saw that has tears to it. So, Wait, it has uh... tier one, tier two, and a tier three. This isn't it, but I saw a tier three somewhere. I might not have exported it here. So we got that this season. That's the Force Razor. Um, interesting. So they must have decided not to go with the tier system. Unless they're going to release tier one later. Because we already have the Force Razor three. Interesting. Okay, so uh, keep scrolling. Uh, butterflies, Supernova, Solar Flare. We don't have that yet. Um, the Reaper, obviously. We got Dueling Dragons, finally. Um, we don't have thumbnails for anything else crazy. So maybe, I, th I think the most two logical items I would expect for next season would probably be the Reaper and the Fennec. I think those are pretty necessary. Um, I have a Reaper's going to come out around uh, Halloween. That would make sense. That would definitely make sense. Um, Devil Horns, Drink Helmet, Fez, uh, what's FNLP? Oh, Fortnite Loot Llama, got there, yep. Uh, Mohawk, Light Bulbs, Heart Glasses, okay, I like that one. Mrs. Avocado, cool, Plunger, Pork Pie, Propeller Head, Rasta, Panda Hatch, Sombrero, Steg, Top Hat, Okay, so no alpha cap. Interesting. Um, and I never saw another reference to alpha, the alpha boost. boost. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. We got got bamboozled, unfortunately. Um. So we have playlists. Uh, 
think we showed all of them pretty much. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't seen the last video uh, that we made on this, these have all been uh, gone in depth and shown. But uh, can you scroll down again? I just I just wanna. No no yeah yeah to the quick chats. We'll just cover everything because I'm sure people will want to know. Okay, so we have Wow, what a save, thumbs up, which we don't have yet. Um, we have the season one rewards, which is pretty nice. Um, unfortunately, we don't see anything about season four rewards. Um, what they do is they kind of in the middle of the season, like before the season ends, they'll then add the um, assets into the game. So only recently did we see the um, avatars, but um, obviously we're not going to know until next season. Uh, now we can move on to wheels. Uh, yep. In terms of wheels, the biggest one that was added was, uh, what was it? You you sent me it. Oh, it was dire yeah. wolves. Dire wolves. Yeah, Wait. and that's not gonna be in this files with me because this is a little bit. This is the last. Thing oh, this is even up. before that. Yeah, this is the launch of season three update. Oh. Have, well, no. Okay. Okay. I have the rest on the Windows, but I'm not sure how to. I don't have anything set up over there. Okay. No worries. No worries. Um, oh. let's go to the top and then just scroll through. Then. Okay, so on the left, you're going to see all the different names. Uh, we have the Arrow Mages, the Aethers, the Asterias, which we all have. Uh, Benders, we don't have yet. Uh, Cephalos, which are kind of weird. Christianos, which I love. Um, and do these show that they can be painted? Like, does it have the RGB next to them? Okay, so yeah. we are going to be getting painted Christianos. Okay, interesting. Uh, how about with Dices? Same thing? Lower, yeah. Okay, same thing. Cool. Um, Dracos, check on those. Okay, cool. Very sick. Um, so we have Finney's, Foreman's, the Fortnite, um, FSLs, Gaidens, Heroes, Invaders, Kiwi. Um, one thing that kind of sticks out to me is that there's not a lot of... Um, outside like cameo third-party stuff in the files like it'd be cool if we saw something where they wanted to add um more references from different franchises but literally the only thing we see is fortnite um and this oem the last one no I i'm honestly oh, okay. shocked that we haven't seen more even collaboration with rocket league itself that's what i'm saying Basically, the only collaboration Rocket League has to Sideswipe is their little ad they play during uh, RLCS. That's literally it. What's TP19? Ooh, I've never seen those. Wait, maybe I have. Hold on. Let me look those up. I like the face of it. Oh. Ooh, these look beautiful. I've never had these in Rocket League. I don't know how you get them, but that is sick. Um, was that trend? Oh, it was a Twitch drop. Um, and then we have the Troikas, Tunicas, Ultralex, and then the Umbrella wheels. Um, do me a favor and clip on the uh, Tempest wheels. That is a lot of stuff that they're probably not going to add because they don't feel like giving us new content. So in conclusion, uh, we have a lot of unreleased stuff. In the files, we saw it with the Hockey Puck, the Drop Shot, Dire Wolf, Dracos, Reapers, Phoenix. Uh, the list goes on and on. Uh, nothing about trading. Nothing about tournaments. Nothing really about microtransactions that confirm it. But at the end of the day, they haven't given up on the game quite yet. Um, and if... I were them and I saw the numbers immediately drop like this I would definitely question what they're doing here but the fact that we see this new stuff being added I think is a good sign for Sideswipe as a whole now will this be the most popular game 
on the App Store? Probably not. It's going to be niche for a long time. Uh, probably the whole entire time it's a thing. Um, but uh, I still enjoy this community, and I'm sure KO does as well. So if you guys could go show him a lot of support and love, I'm sure he would be happy to answer some uh, questions and concerns on his YouTube channel, which will be linked down below. Um, and I want to give a huge shout out to him. Um, also, huge shout out to my entire community that's been supporting me through this weird time with Sideswipe. Um, the fact that we have to wait 60 days for an update is kind of ridiculous. And the fact that I still get views with a game that is quote unquote dead, it means that you guys actually like me and not just like the game, which means so much to me. And it's actually insane. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. I'll make a closer one. Just a little side note for you guys. If you guys aren't happy with the items you're pulling in Rocket League Size Wipe or even Rocket League, feel free to join Baby Yoda's chat and Twitch and type exclamation point pull. Over here, we have set up a Twitch bot that will be able to pull items like this right now. And then it also keeps track of what you get. So these are the wheels I have. Ooh, you have a heat wave, titanium white, insane. That's actually really that's cool. The, that's the only item that I gave myself. Like, that I went out of my way to give myself. No one's gonna really pull that. The black markers have a 1% chance, and titanium white has an 8% chance. So Jeez. get those two combined, it's so unlikely.